In the land where dreams are spun, under the glittering lights of American television, a charismatic storyteller emerged, a man who transcended the boundaries of entertainment and business to become a true legend. Yes, you guessed it, Steve Harvey. Beyond the laughter he brings to millions of households, Steve Harvey has forged an empire of wealth and luxury that few could dare to dream of. In this captivating journey, we'll peel back the curtains on his extraordinary life, uncovering not just the riches, but the wisdom, style, and remarkable choices that define this modern American icon. Before exploring the villas and car collections that make everyone fall in love, let's look back at his upward journey. Born in 1957 in Welch, West Virginia, Broderick, Stephen Harvey Sr., better known as Steve Harvey, is a great television host, comedian, and writer. This is a tale that unfurls from the humblest of beginnings, where opportunity seemed as distant as the glimmering lights of Hollywood. Steve's journey was not a scripted ascent to stardom, it was an epic of diverse roles. Before he was the iconic television host, the world knew him as a boxer, a mailman, and even an insurance salesman. But within him, there simmered a spark that would light up the screens in our lives. It was on the stages of stand-up comedy that he honed his craft, an odyssey where laughter served as both compass and consolation. The path was not without its hardships. At one point, the spotlight that now bathes him in fame had been replaced by the harsh neon glow of homelessness. But every great story has its chapters of adversity, and for Steve, this was just the prelude to an unforgettable performance. Then came that fateful year, 1993, when destiny dealt its hand. Its showtime at the Apollo, beckoned, an opportunity that would unfurl the curtains to his dazzling future. From that point forward, Steve Harvey was no longer just a face in the crowd, he was the host, the star, and sometimes the executive producer of shows that would captivate the nation, The Steve Harvey Show, Family Feud, Steve on Watch, and Judge Steve Harvey. Recognition followed, as it often does for the exceptional. Six Daytime Emmy Awards adorned his career, a testament to his brilliance on the small screen. His talents extended beyond television, reaching the written word. Steve penned four books, one of which would take the world by storm, act like a lady, think like a man, etching its mark with resounding sales. With many years of a solid career, today Harvey can enjoy a comfortable and extremely luxurious life. Mansion in Atlanta, fast forward to the present, and you'll find the Harvey family ensconced in a veritable palace nestled in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. This opulent abode, ensconced within 17 acres of land, ranks among the largest and most luxurious in the area. Surrounded by a dense, vibrant forest, it offers its residents the sanctuary of solitude. The mansion, an architectural marvel born in 2007, draws inspiration from the opulence of Versailles, with each detail designed to be dazzle. Much like royalty, step inside, and the grandeur unfolds. A double staircase graces the entrance hall, setting the tone for the extravagance within. Arabesque banisters and an imposing crystal chandelier cast an enchanting spell. The main room, adorned with cozy furnishings and warm earthy tones, stretches to a double-height ceiling, with floor-to-ceiling glass windows that beckon the outdoors inside. In a seamless transition, we enter the dining room, where meticulous details adorn the decor. This colossal 35,000-square-foot mansion boasts seven bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. The master suite, a haven of golden furnishings and ornate decor, exudes a regal charm. Elsewhere on the property, curvilinear ceilings grace the rooms, evoking the architectural wonders of churches and historic temples. Within these palace walls, Steve Harvey enjoys a life of luxury, with a games room brimming with leisure activities, an indoor swimming pool complete with a spa tub, a well-equipped gym, a dry sauna, a private movie room, and an extensive wine cellar fit for the most discerning connoisseur. The outdoor expanse mirrors a five-star resort, boasting a spectacular infinity-edge pool that gazes over the lush forest and the city's towering skyscrapers, a sight reminiscent of a luxury hotel. Completing this lavish tapestry are the well-kept gardens, a tennis court, and the allure of its cinematic history. Once owned by the illustrious actor Tyler Perry, who penned a record-breaking $18 million deal in 2016, it now stands as a testament to Steve Harvey's acumen, acquired for $15 million in 2020. A comedian who knows how to seize a golden opportunity when it arises, his story continues to unfold in resplendent chapters of triumph and grandeur. Chicago Apartment, picture this, it's perched on the 88th floor, offering a perch above the bustling North Wabash Avenue in the heart of downtown Chicago, Illinois. 
This 500 square foot gem is a testament to the art of urban living, where every square inch is a canvas painted with opulence. The centerpiece of this masterpiece is undoubtedly the 19 foot long ceiling, a grand stage for a life well lived. But what truly sets this apartment apart are the floor to ceiling windows, opening up a mesmerizing 360 degree panorama of the city and the tranquil expanse of the lake. It's not merely a residence, it's an ever changing piece of living art. Inside these hallowed walls, Comfort meets luxury in a seamless union. Three bedrooms offer views that redefine city living, while five full bathrooms beckon with promises of jacuzzi-infused relaxation. The open-concept kitchen, adorned with black stone countertops and top-of-the-line appliances, is a testament to culinary craftsmanship. Yet, the allure doesn't stop at aesthetics, it's also the warmth of three fireplaces that nestle within, inviting moments of intimacy in the grandeur of space. But beyond the apartment's charms lies a world of amenities that rival a five-star hotel. Spa services cradle the weary, a luxurious fitness center beckons the wellness enthusiast, and a restaurant tantalizes the palate with gastronomic delights. Here, you're not just residing, you're indulging in an experience that transcends ordinary living. Intriguingly, the narrative takes a twist when we delve into the story of this apartment. Harvey, the ever-vigilant investor, secured this jewel in 2013, only to part ways with it in 2018. The reward for this real estate venture? A staggering $8,700,000. Property in Beverly Hills, Steve Harvey has also lived temporarily on a property of nearly two acres located in an upmarket gated community in Beverly Hills. California, imagine a property, nestled within the exclusive enclave of Beverly Hills, California, spanning nearly two acres. This charming residence, a vast expanse of 11,000 square feet, beckons with spacious rooms, adorned in classic decor, and a color palette so delicate it's almost ethereal. As we traverse these hallowed halls, we find ourselves in the chef's kitchen, a realm where culinary artistry meets vivid personality, all dominated by blue-hued appliances. Ascend to the second floor, and you're met with a choice that feels almost royal, five bedrooms, each a sanctuary in its own right. The master suite, in particular, unfolds into a grand oasis, complete with a sprawling bathroom and a walk-in closet that's a haven for the most discerning of fashion aficionados. But the estate doesn't stop at indoor luxury. Here, a library bathed in luminous natural light invites you to lose yourself in the world of books. The dining room, a space adorned with a table for twelve, evokes images of grand feasts and camaraderie. Venture beyond the main house, and you'll discover a three-bedroom guesthouse, a verdant backyard adorned with lush gardens, and a swimming pool where the play of light creates a mesmerizing dance of colors. This is not just a residence, it's a canvas of indulgence. Yet, the most intriguing aspect of this narrative lies in the cost of such luxury. For Steve Harvey to call this mansion home, he had to open his purse wide, parting with close to $125,000 every month. Cars. Now, let's embark on a journey through Steve Harvey's world of opulent automobiles and lavish voyages. From the humble days when he called a 1980s Ford Tempo his home, Steve Harvey has ascended to a realm where the cars he chooses are not merely modes of transport but reflections of his stature. Picture this, a pristine 1941 Cadillac convertible, an exotic gem that gleams in the sunlight, with a price tag that dances around $85,000. This classic is a testament to his appreciation of automotive artistry. And when the occasion called for it, Harvey didn't hesitate to gift his beloved wife with a symbol of luxury. On his 59th birthday, he presented her with a Bentley Mulsanne, a sedan that epitomizes refinement with a price tag around $335,000. But he didn't stop there, he knew that Marjorie, with her penchant for adventure, deserved a car that could offer a dual experience of contact with the outside world. Thus, he gifted her a phantom drophead coupe, a vehicle that craves long days out and weekends away coming in at approximately $500,000. In his garage, you'll find the embodiment of automotive excellence, a Rolls-Royce Phantom 8, equipped with a V8 engine. This car is the epitome of exclusivity, with a price tag around $590,000. Its interior, an oasis of luxury, perfectly harmonizes with its exquisite exterior finish. Yacht, Steve Harvey's love for luxury doesn't stop at cars, it extends to the high seas. With his wife and seven children, he seeks refuge on luxurious yachts, transforming birthdays into unforgettable adventures. In 2021, the Sea Lion Yacht, a 200-foot-long vessel with exquisite design and boundless entertainment, 
became their floating palace. To bask in the luxury of this ship for a week, one must part with $370,000. Yet, this was just the beginning of his maritime escapades. In the same year, Harvey set sail on the Siren Novus Gru, a 240-foot-long yacht where luxury knows no bounds. This floating paradise accommodates 12 passengers in six staterooms and promises an abundance of fun with its jacuzzi and movie theater. The cost for this nautical indulgence for a week? A princely $560,000. For his 65th birthday, the comedian embarked on a sailing expedition along the picturesque Bahamian coast, aboard the 282-foot-long Seven Seas yacht. Valued at $150 million, this maritime marvel once belonged to none other than filmmaker Steven Spielberg. To have the privilege of sailing these azure waters for a week, Steve Harvey likely had to part with around $1,500,000. Luxury shopping, on his social platforms, he's a sartorial maestro, a connoisseur of fashion who never fails to make a statement. His meticulously crafted appearances, a testament to his impeccable taste, are orchestrated by none other than his trusted stylist, Ellie Caramo. One particular image sparked a frenzy across social media, with memes swirling in its wake. In a green monochromatic ensemble by Bottega Veneta, Steve Harvey bore a resemblance to a Marvel villain. His long coat, a symbol of extravagance, boasts a price tag of approximately $3,000. But his love for fashion doesn't end there. He donned a turtleneck sweater from Dior's Spring-Summer 2021 collection, a collaboration with Ghanaian artist Amoko Bofo, valued at $4,000. On another occasion, his footwear made waves, a pair of boots crafted from crocodile skin by Tom Ford, an iconic choice that commands almost $3,000. Yet, it's not just clothing, it's the accessories that complete his ensembles. Steve Harvey, with a penchant for luxury, invests heavily in exquisite timepieces. His wrist has embraced an 18-karat yellow gold Rolex day date, adorned with ruby and diamond-studded stones, a truly opulent accessory valued at approximately $150,000. But one watch seems to hold a special place in his heart, the Rolex Rainbow Daytona. Crafted in yellow gold, its black dial and bezel gleam with precious stones of diverse colors. To adorn his wrist with this horological masterpiece, Steve Harvey had to part with around $190,000. And then there's the crowning jewel, the watch reserved for grand occasions, the Roger de Buis Escalibur Knights of the Round Table. A limited edition, with only 28 pieces in existence, this timepiece is crafted from rose gold and boasts 33 ruby stones, anchored by a blue alligator buckle. Its value stands at an impressive $300,000. Businesses, in addition to being a television host, Steve is a successful businessman. In 2017, he orchestrated a grand convergence, uniting all his entrepreneurial endeavors beneath the grand canopy of Steve Harvey Global. Among its flourishing branches lies East 112, an internal digital content production powerhouse responsible for birthing television gems like Think Like a Man and the mesmerizing talent showcase Little Big Shots. But there's more to Steve than the glitz and glamour of showbiz, he's a tastemaker with a knack for style. In the spirit of sharing the magic, he ventured into the world of fashion, offering his line of ties. It's a nod to his signature style, an acknowledgement that many aspire to emulate the comedian's sartorial finesse. Education is yet another facet of this multifaceted maestro. He imparts wisdom through digital portals, offering courses on leadership, communication, and entrepreneurship via his digital haven, Vault Empowers. It's a platform where dreams are nourished and aspirations take flight. But, hold on to your seat, for Steve Harvey isn't just about businesses he founded, he's an astute investor in the ever-evolving landscape of technology. His bet is on a spectrum of companies, from the dynamic global media platform, Anthem Sports and Entertainment, to the enigmatic world of Bitcoin mining via block cap. The property rental giant, Airbnb, shares his investment portfolio, as does the aerospace trailblazer, SpaceX, and the expansive e-commerce marketplace, Wish, among other ventures. Steve's success isn't confined to one arena, it's a testament to his unparalleled acumen and his ability to make money work for him. Personal Life Steve Harvey's personal life is a tapestry woven with the threads of multiple marriages, fatherhood, and faith. He's walked down the aisle three times and has seven children in his corner, four biological, twin daughters Brandy and Carly, and son Broderick Harvey Jr. from his first marriage to Marcia Harvey, and son Winton from his second marriage to Mary Shackelford, and three stepchildren, Morgan, Jason, and Lori, 
Marjorie's kids from her previous marriage, whom Steve wholeheartedly adopted. Amidst the joys and complexities of family life, Harvey's second marriage to Mary Shackelford ended in divorce in November 2005, accompanied by some legal disputes. It even caught the attention of a concerned judge who questioned the spread of false information about the divorce. However, in the chapters of his third marriage to Marjorie Bridges, Steve Harvey found not only love but a transformative force. He openly credits Marjorie with making him a better man and altering the trajectory of his life. A truly blended family, the couple enjoys the company of five grandchildren, each contributing their unique strokes to the family portrait. Their journey has seen them traverse multiple cities, with Atlanta as the backdrop for his radio show and family feud recordings, while Chicago was once home to his talk show. However, in 2018, Harvey packed his bags and moved his entire showbiz repertoire, talk show, radio program, and family feud, to Los Angeles. Steve Harvey's life isn't just about family dynamics and showbiz, though. It's punctuated by a moment when he made a contentious decision. In early 2017, he met with then-president-elect Donald Trump, facing criticism and backlash for his choice. He defended his decision as a way to initiate positive changes, irrespective of the tempestuous political climate. Steve Harvey's life, like any good story, finds its anchor in faith. A devout Christian, he attributes his success to his unwavering belief in God, his personal beliefs extend to his dietary choices, adopting a vegan diet for health reasons and even sharing the rationale for his dietary preferences on his television program. Net worth for over a decade, he's been the charismatic ringleader of Family Feud, a show ingrained in the hearts of millions across America. The payoff for his success? A staggering $10 million annually, a figure that reaffirms his status as a media icon. Yet, the plot thickens as the dawn breaks on his The Steve Harvey Morning Show, which has been gracing the airwaves since the early 2000s. This radio program is no mere side hustle, it's a jackpot adding another $20 million each year to the comedian's coffers. The man's wealth doesn't stop there. He penned the guide to relationships that turned into a cinematic hit, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, igniting book sales. His other literary forays include Straight Talk, No Chaser, Act Like a Success, and Jump, Take a Leap of Faith to Achieve Your Life of Abundance. These tomes have enriched both his followers and his wallet. Now, the grand sum of all these streams of income paints a lavish picture, Harvey's average annual income towering at $45 million. At the age of 67, some sources whisper of a net worth of $300 million. That's more than success, it's an empire built on laughter, wisdom, and shrewd business acumen. As we close the pages of this captivating chapter on Steve Harvey's life, we want to hear from you. Did you find his journey from humble beginnings to towering success inspiring? Have any questions about his life and career? Or perhaps there's another cultural icon you'd like us to explore? Your feedback fuels our storytelling journey.